Drivers Video card drivers are everything. Drivers accelerate game performance, creative desktop applications, content creation, and workstation class applications. With so many different kinds of support in applications, features, and optimizations, sometimes it is best to divide to get the best. And this is an approach that NVIDIA has taken. Gamers are familiar with NVIDIA's Game Ready G4 series drivers. Tech enthusiasts and gamers know that this is the series of drivers that are updated most frequently with new game support and optimizations. It is known that this is the series of drivers to install for the absolute best gaming experience on GeForce video cards. Studio Drivers provides artists, creators and 3D developers with the best performance and reliability when working with creative applications. The obvious question that comes in mind first is will it affect my gaming performance negatively if it is optimized for creative applications? NVIDIA Studio Drivers is not a new concept. Just searching GeForce RTX 20 series alone, we can see that the dates back to March 2019. There have been several releases of this driver since then. Back then, it was called NVIDIA Creator Studio Ready, now known as NVIDIA Studio Driver. As you can see though, it's been around for a while and was specifically built to optimize creative applications. The very first version, 419.67, optimized Blender Cycles, Adobe Photoshop CC, Adobe Premiere Pro CC, and Cinema 4D with some nice improvement in performance. The latest driver right now, 451.77, optimizes performance in Magic's Vegas Pro 17, Autodesk Arnold, Algorithmic Substance Painter 2020.1, Blender 2.80 and above, Cinema 4D R21 and Octane Render 2019.2 and above. With this new NVIDIA Studio driver getting more attention and even matching up in stats with the game ready version, everybody watching might want to know if the NVIDIA Studio driver will harm, damage or lessen your gaming performance. Comparing it to the latest 452.06 GeForce game ready driver, those contemplating installing it would want to know if they are going to lose gaming performance performance. Second, we need to see if it does improve creative application in both smaller and bigger softwares, then we would conclude with the best driver for you to settle on. In this video, we are going to directly compare the performance of NVIDIA Studio Driver 451.77 versus GeForce Game Ready Driver 452.6. We are going to look at gaming performance and creative application benchmarks. We are using both synthetic benchmarks and gaming in-game benchmarks for comparison. performance, the 
answer was quite clear. The Nvidia Studio Driver will not harm your gaming experience. It will not harm your gameplay. Neither will it lower your frame rate. In all of our testing, performance was never negatively affected with the Nvidia Studio Driver. In fact, in some cases, we saw a performance gain of 1% and even more. This is good news if you are a creative developer using creative applications or workstation class applications in such an environment. You can have the benefit of the NVIDIA Studio Driver and also still spend your break time enjoying games with no loss or degradation in gaming performance. Basically, you get your kick and still eat it. NVIDIA does not make you sacrifice gaming performance for optimized creative applications. We realize the creative application benchmark we use today are in no way an in-depth exhaustive look into creative application performance with the NVIDIA Studio Driver. We only tested a few software and more games. You realize the testing was done on both ultra and basic settings. That said, we did see an overall trend that indicates the NVIDIA Studio Driver would be faster in specific applications and workloads over the GeForce Game Ready Driver. The latest NVIDIA Studio Driver, as mentioned before, specifically optimizes once again in Magic's Vegas Pro 17, Autodesk Anod, Algorithmic Substance Painter 2020.1, Blender 2.80, Cinema 4D R21, and Otoy Octane Render 2019.2. If you use those applications, then this driver may make a better experience and is recommended. The extent of this benefit would depend on your workload and render options and times. If you are solely a gamer or even double in light content creation works, it is best to stick with GeForce Game Ready Drivers. The reason why is simple. It is the GeForce Game Ready Driver series that is updated most frequently. It is this driver series that received the latest game optimizations by the launch of new games. If you want to keep up with the latest game and performance, then the GeForce Game Ready Driver is the only way to go. This means that if you are a gamer and don't do much of content creation, or don't at all, then this is the driver you should install for gaming, the Game Ready Driver. If however, your primary use case is professional creative applications, content creation or from a workstation perspective where stability is key, then go for the latest NVIDIA Studio Driver. I can boldly assure you that you won't be sacrificing game performance or creative stability in any way so you can still enjoy your games at your free time. However, don't expect the NVIDIA Studio Driver to be updated as frequently for game support. As we have seen already this year, there are months of time in between NVIDIA Studio Driver releases and these are not up to date with the latest games. If you are a gamer and you see that the new NVIDIA Studio Driver has been released and is tickling for an update, just ignore it. Stick to the latest GeForce Game Ready Driver. Even if the version number is older, it is your best bet for the best gaming experience. So gamers kindly stick to Game Ready and creators who pay less attention to gaming should also stick to studio ready. But if you are a gamer and a creator at the same time, then go in for game ready. The difference in performance isn't that huge, but you should also watch out for unstable application performance as the game ready focuses more on game optimizations. If you love this video, kindly give me a sub. My name is King Kunta. Peace out.